They're not on this cell block. Let's move on to the next. Let's check out the central computer. No sign of them here. Valkar must have sent us on a wild... Wait. I may have something. It's an outgoing holo message. Recent. This is Captain Titch, confirming the details for outgoing prisoner transfer 993B. We've got three Gamorian trespassers, a couple of spice peddlers, and our catch of the day, the legendary Dead Eyes. At least we know they're alive. Or they were at the time of this transmission. As per protocol, we have split the Deadeyes up and transfer them to off-world labor camps. I've encrypted the coordinates for their designated camps into this transmission. Those scum can spend the remaining years working off their debt. Message ends there. Guess the imps don't make things quick for their POWs. Lucky us. Make a copy of those coordinates. On it. Hmm. The encryption here is good. Too good. I can't crack it. Looks like we may need Valkyr's services again. Off the hollow with a very angry Imperial diplomat. Apparently, some Republic troopers broke into the Imperial detention center. Hey, I just went to Hari's for a drink. I got a new waitress there. Real looker. Don't get cute with me, Valkyr. You know something. Is this a bad time? On the contrary. Now I know exactly where to stick my foot. Senior Agent Zane, SIS. That little stunt you pulled ruined any chance we had of negotiating the Deadeye's safe return. Check your facts, Zane. The Imperials already shipped them off-world. It's Senior Agent Zane, thank you. And storming an Imperial facility, guns blazing, it makes things worse. Your involvement ends now. Clear? Our involvement ends when the Dead Eyes are free. Then you can tell your CO to expect a little love note from me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got an Imperial Ambassador to mollify. I trust you'll see yourselves off my planet. What were you thinking coming back here? I told you I couldn't be connected to any of this. We found some encrypted coordinates in the prison central computer. We think they'll tell us where the Dead Eyes are. Any chance you can decrypt those coordinates for us? Not with Zane watching me. Look, a friend in Signal Intelligence owes me a favor. I'll put you in contact with him. He may be able to make something of those coordinates. It's the best I can do. The 
couldn't have done this without Valker. I think you owe him your thanks. Fine. Valker. Thanks. Hey, anything for you, Jorgen. I'll connect with Valker's contact once we get back to the ship. I'll report if I hear anything. So, I wondered if I might ask a personal question about the former Havoc Squad members' defection. What was it like to have your commander and comrades join the enemy? How did you feel? It was hard to see such great soldiers throwing away everything they'd fought for. I can only imagine what it must have been like. I've always wondered how my family took the news of my defection. It must have been difficult for them to understand. What was your family like? Austere. Proud. Warm as well, at least in private. Members of the Dawn family have served with distinction in the Imperial military for generations. It's an important family tradition. It isn't easy to reach prominence in the Empire with no aptitude for the Force, but my family did it. I hope they're all still well. It can't be easy to fight against your family's side. It is a consequence I accepted when I chose to defect. I don't give it a second thought.
It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. It is Lieutenant now, right? You're doing so well for yourself, I'm very proud. I have to thank you for working this little meeting into your very busy schedule. It took me some trouble to arrange. Are you hiding? Show yourself! I'm afraid I'm some distance away at the moment, and coming in person would waste your precious time. You have caused me a great deal of difficulty, Lieutenant. Some have even called you my nemesis. Was that your goal? My goal is to bring traitors to justice. So is mine, Lieutenant. Needles. Even Captain Andrick. What is wrong with you? They were heroes, Lieutenant. Your squad mates betrayed the Republic, just like you. You're a fool. In my entire career, only one other enemy has been as difficult as you. The Imperial Shadow Fist. One of the most elite commando units in all of the Sith Empire. Five of the Emperor's deadliest agents. You've seen the Empire's evil. How can you ignore it now? I fought Imperial troops in battle, but it was the Republic's treachery that I saw firsthand. Havoc Squad and the Shadow Fist fought many times. We battled to a standstill over and over again. We were the worst of enemies. But times have changed, Lieutenant. Meet my five newest friends. I always enjoy meeting new people. So do we. You're overdue for a painful death, Lieutenant. Goodbye. Lieutenant, report. Were you able to neutralize Tavis? No Tavis, just the Shadow Fist. Incredible. Ambushed by the Empire's best and still standing. You retrieved a military asset of incredible importance in the face of extreme danger. You did well. Our only choice now is to proceed as originally planned. Our technicians have determined your final two target locations. Tatooine and Alderaan. I'll give you a full briefing when you arrive at each mission zone. Move out immediately. Garza out. If I may say so, sir, you've had quite an impressive career. You're the commander of the most elite squad in the entire Republic. You must be quite proud. Serving in Havoc Squad has been the greatest honor of my career. I remember when I first enlisted and qualified for medical specialization. My brother Alexei completed his technical specialization on the same day. We were both proud to finally serve in the Imperial military. My brother advanced quickly, but 
I became disillusioned as time went on. Why did you become disillusioned? The Imperial military was supposed to stand for honor and discipline. But my superiors discarded those concepts any time a Sith asked it. I'd always been taught that the Jedi and the Republic were genocidal hypocrites. But the only brutalities I witnessed were committed by my own comrades. Did you try to change things? Or did you defect right away? I raised my concerns with my superiors, but they only questioned my resolve. Soon, I would have been forced to prove my loyalty by carrying out orders directly against my conscience. I chose to defect instead. Did you have any trouble getting away from the rest of your unit? I had noted numerous inefficiencies in our assigned patrol routes. I simply took advantage of one of them to escape. I surrendered to the First Republic patrol I came across and declared my intention to defect. That was over three years ago. It's strange to realize how long it's been. The Republic truly feels like my home now. It is an amazing thing to know that you are exceptional, sir. I'm sure you know the feeling, given your incredible service record. My programming, my weaponry, my armor, all state-of-the-art, and my power core, a true marvel. Other droids may look like me or have some of my capabilities, but none of them have my power core. I'm very proud to be so unique. The differences among us are what give the Republic its strength. Exactly, sir. Billions of unique individuals coming together to contribute to the greater good. Oh, it's truly inspiring. I see Havoc Squad in much the same way. We are set apart from other infantry teams by one thing. You. Thanks to your wise and courageous leadership, Havoc Squad is the finest military unit in the Republic. You are what makes Havoc special. That's very kind of you to say that, Forex. By analyzing our unit's strengths, we can better utilize them against our depraved enemies. Let's return to the fight, sir. It's already been too long since I saw Imperial soldiers stomped into the muck where they belong. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I see you've landed in Anchorhead. Tatooine is a vast and dangerous desert of a planet, and I'm afraid you can't count on having Republic support during your mission there. Havoc Squad can handle anything. All the same, Lieutenant. I hate sending my people into uncharted areas like Tatooine without some kind of support. In the absence of military assets, I've arranged a local contact to assist you in your mission. Ole Claren, the mayor of Anchorhead. Mayor Claren may not be a soldier, but he knows the area extremely well, and can put his city's resources, whatever those may be, at your disposal. Sounds like a useful friend to have. Be sure to remember that this operation is top secret, Lieutenant. I told Mayor Claren only that you're undertaking an important mission, which is all that he needs to know. Understood? Discretion is my middle name, General. Very good. That's all I have for you at the moment. Proceed with the operation. Garza out. That puts the tally somewhere around 64, sir. But we've still got some volunteers digging through the rubble, to be sure. 64? So, so many. So much death, and for what? Why is this happening? What have we done to deserve this? We still don't have any leads, sir, but I'm sure... Excuse me, who are you? This is the mayor's office. You can't just barge in here without an appointment. I'm a soldier. The mayor knows I'm coming. You must be the lieutenant. The one General Garza told me about. I am so thankful that you're here. Please, lieutenant. I need your help. My city, the people of Anchorhead, need your help. How can I be of assistance? Someone is attacking us, Lieutenant. Bombs have been going off all over Anchorhead, more than a dozen just in the past week. And we have no idea who's behind them. No threats, no demands or warnings. Innocent people are being murdered without any explanation. Dorn, one of our objectives is a bomb expert, correct? Affirmative, Lieutenant. According to the personnel files I've reviewed, one of the most skillful in the galaxy. Really? Do you think our problems might be related then? 
If you find this bomb expert... Sir, Mayor Clarence, sir. There's been another bombing. An apartment building over in District 7. Oh, no. No. How many? Do we know yet? No, sir. But it's going to be bad. A lot of people lived in the building. A lot of families. I'll proceed to the scene at once, Mayor Claren. After the first explosion, there are always more, all in the same area. If you hurry, you might get there in time to stop them. Please, Lieutenant, protect my people and I'll do anything I can to help your mission. Please, hurry! <laughs> Uh, what? Who? Who's there? Just hang in there, Bennett. I'm Kana. I'm your neighbor, remember? You're going to be okay. Just try not to move, all right? Uh, oh, okay. Sure. But my leg... Uh, uh. Don't worry. You'll be safe now. Hear that, Bennett? You're going to be just fine. I can see to this man's wounds. Sir. Can you hear me? I need you to tell me your name, sir. What? What? I... I'm Bennett. Are you a doctor? Is he... Will he be all right? Can you take care of him? The sergeant will get your friend patched up. I'll have this man stabilized momentarily, but he will still require rapid evacuation to the nearest medical facility. Thank goodness. We're so lucky you arrived when you did. I was outside. I just stepped out, and all of a sudden, I'm face down in the sand, a half a block away. D droid It was a droid. Walked in the f front door, and boom! Everything went white. A bomb hidden inside a droid. No wonder no one saw it coming. Yes, I... I'm sure of it. Oh, oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! Over there! In the doorway! It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Got the answer. Greetings. Greetings. Here they come. Greetings. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We're all going to die! You gentle being. We're all going to die! It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. May I speak with you for a moment, gentle being? It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Greetings. Greetings. How may I serve you? Greetings. May I speak with you for a moment, gentle being? Is it over? Are they all dead? Don't worry. You're safe. You did it! You really did it! We're safe! Bennett, we're safe! Uh... Good. Good. We owe you our lives. I wish there were some way we could repay you. As a soldier of the Republic, it's my duty to help. You're a true hero. I'll never forget what you've done here today. None of us will. Thanks again, stranger. I stopped the bombings. There were no casualties beyond the initial blast. You really did it? Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you so much. The city of Anchorhead owes you a great debt. Excuse me, Mayor Claren. I I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but we have an urgent holocaust. Someone who claims to have vital information about the bomber's identity. What? Really? Put them through, Cone. Oh, uh, hello, Mayor, Mayor Claren, sir. My name is Vanto Bazrin, and I have vital information for you regarding... I'm sorry, is that... Sergeant? Is that you? Sergeant, it's me, Fuse, from Ward Mantell. Remember? Advanced bombs like these can only come from one man. Look, I... This isn't what you think it is. Not... Not exactly. I know you might not believe this, but... I'm really, really glad you're here. If anyone can shut down the imps and stop the bombings in Anchorhead, it's you. I'm here for you, Fuse. Nothing else. I, uh... Yeah, I thought as much. But please, hear me out, okay? We can't let the imps get away with this. Lieutenant, who is this guy? Can he really help us stop the bombings? I cannot discuss this individual or my mission, sir. Please, I don't have much time. If they catch me transmitting, they'll... It won't be good. The Imperials brought me here to design bombs. 
desert planet, middle of nowhere, you know, makes sense, right? Then Colonel Gorick, the imp leader, well, he wants to test the bombs, but he won't use the empty deserts. He wanted a live testing ground. He chose Aggerhead. That son of a... He's killing innocent people just to test your damn bombs? You're assuming that Fuse is telling the truth. Why would I lie? Why would I call you at all unless I wanted to help, right? It... it wouldn't make sense. As soon as I found out, I told Gork I wouldn't do it. Never. So his men locked me up in here. Gork's afraid of Tavis, or he would have just killed me. Only you can stop Gork now. Let me help you. Let me tell you who's putting the bomb droids together. Why doesn't Gork construct the droids himself? He doesn't have the resources, so he hired on some help. A group of Geonosians is building the bomb droids. When each batch is finished, they're sent to the coordinates that Gorik provides. The Geonosians are holed up somewhere outside Anchorhead, but I, I don't know where the exact location is. Guards are coming now. I have to hide the transmitter before I'm caught. Fuse out. Roger that. Look, Lieutenant, I don't know the whole story, granted, but I think he was telling us the truth. The Geonosians Fuse mentioned, a big gang of them, moved into an abandoned town nearly two months ago. They haven't been a problem. No worse than scavengers. We... we never imagined they were involved in the bombings. Can you tell me anything about these people? Well, they aren't exactly people, for starters. They're creepy insectoids with a knack for tech. I can't believe I didn't think of them before. If you kill the Geonosian's leader, it should put a stop to all of this. But there are so many. Getting in won't be easy. Havoc Squad can handle anything. Good luck out there, Lieutenant. What I'm saying, my dear friends, is that the latest objective was not destroyed. Have any other plans you'd like to share with us? Republic soldiers! Eliminate them, Kyvax, at once! I'm so sorry, Mayor Claren. I... I just... I never imagined it would come to this, you know? Innocent people dead, all because of my designs. I... I was, I was so stupid. Well, you're working for the right side now, okay, buddy? We're going to put a stop to this. The Geonosians were definitely working with the imps. I know, it's... Well, thanks for trusting me after everything that's happened. I really do want to help. Colonel Gorick is, uh, huh, he isn't pleased about you being here, Lieutenant. He has the entire operation on high alert. The Colonel's right to be scared. Yeah, I'd say so. I, uh, I think it's actually gonna help us. You see, the base's location is a total secret. I, I have no idea where we are. The only people who have the base's coordinates are Gorick's commando teams. He'll, uh, you have to hit one of those teams to get the coordinates. Just point me in the right direction and I'll move out. When the guards were talking earlier, I... I overheard them mention a commando team stationed in a cave near the Sand People's settlements. The commandos were deployed to test some of my designs on the Sand People. Mines, booby traps, that kind of thing. So the Sand People are... you know, pretty riled up right now. I look forward to meeting them. It, uh, it may not be long before Gork decides to pull out entirely, Lieutenant. He's worried that more Republic reinforcements are coming. So, 
Try to reach the cave and get the coordinates off the commandos quickly, before the opportunity is gone. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Identify yourself immediately. Havoc Squad, pleased to meet you. What? I thought Havoc Squad was on our side now, Serge. We'll figure it out when they're dead. Open fire! Coordinates for your hideout, now. Base, base coordinates. Here, on this data, data pad. Please, mercy, mercy. I'll spare you, for whatever good that does you. Thank you, thank you. Let me help you. Lieutenant! Lieutenant, can you hear me? This is Oleg Claren. Are you there, Lieutenant? Has something come up? Views just called. He said Colonel Gorick is pulling out. He's going to run for it, Lieutenant. That scum killed dozens of innocent people for his tests. Those people deserve justice. Their families deserve justice. Please hurry, Lieutenant. Gorick has to pay for what he's done. That imp scum won't get away from me. You've got him on the run. Now finish him off. Good luck, Lieutenant. Claren, uh, Claren out. Uh, right.
Lieutenant. You made it just in time. Gorg called for a full-scale evacuation. He's already at the hangar in the back of the base overseeing the evacuation, and... He has my bomb designs with him. Please, you have to get to the landing area and stop Gorg before he escapes with my bomb designs. Gorg won't escape from me. If anyone can do it, it's you. Good luck, Lieutenant. Warning. Warning. Self-destruct sequence initialized. All personnel must evacuate to the hangar area immediately. This is not a drill. Countdown sequence initialized. Warning. Warning. Facility detonation imminent. Oh no, we're too late. The entire base, it's gonna be vaporized. We're... we're out of time. There must be some way to shut down the self-destruct sequence. You'd have to go to the command center to cancel the detonation, and... Well, you could even unlock myself from there. But by the time you reach the command center and stop the explosion, Gork will have escaped with my bomb designs. That can't happen. I'm sure I can stop the explosion and get Gorik if I move fast enough. No. No, you have to leave me. By the time you cancel the self-destruct, Gork will be long gone. Please, there isn't time to argue. It's down to me or the bomb designs, and... Well, there's only one good choice there. Gorik can't be allowed to escape with those bomb designs. You, uh... You should hurry. We spent too much time talking already. The hangar is at the other end of the base. Good luck, Lieutenant. And, uh, please... Please tell General Garza I'm sorry I let her down. It's been an honor serving with you, Fuse. You too, Lieutenant. So long. Alpha Squad, Beta Squad, Gamma Squad, check, 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 good. Delta? Where is Delta Squad? Not sure, sir. They should be here by now. Drop your weapons. Now! Who the... Ah, of course. I should have known. Intruder! All squads! Open! Hold your fire, Captain. I'd like a word with this one. You... Do you have any idea what you've done here? What you've cost me? Cost the Empire? I'll have to spend months locating another sufficiently worthless planet with another town full of sufficiently worthless beings if I'm to conduct any useful research at all. I'm going to enjoy taking you down. Oh, I can't wait to watch you try. All squads, open fire! Squad, hold up. Get me a solid perimeter ASAP. You must be the commander of Havoc Squad. I'm Lieutenant Tasser, sir. 43rd Advanced Recon Squad. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? General Garza rerouted us from a two-week sightseeing op on Ryloth to assist you, Lieutenant. Looks like you've already taken care of things, though. If I'd known reinforcements were inbound, I would have waited. Well, doesn't look like you needed us to begin with. Garza mentioned a possible prisoner for us to haul back to Coruscant. So, did you find the guy, or what? If he's still running loose, we could lend you a hand. The objective could not be taken alive. Can't win them all, I guess. All right, people. Let's sweep through the rubble and see if we can find the target's body to take back to General Garza. See you around, sir. Lieutenant, you made it! Please, have a seat. Tell me what happened. 
Was your mission against the Imperials a success? I can't discuss the details. Oh, oh, uh, yes, of course. I understand. Top secret mission, of course. Well, could you at least tell me about Fuse? I mean, did you rescue him from the Imperials? He gave his life so that I could stop Gorik. Oh, that's rough. He was a good guy, that one. Wish I could have shook his hand. So, your general called while you were gone. I filled her in on what I knew. Nice lady. Stern, though. Don't get me started on General Garza. Anyway, she wants you to call her from your ship before you take off. She was pretty insistent about it, actually. I hope there's nothing wrong. There's no predicting with Garza. You accomplished some great things here. I can't imagine she's anything but pleased. Well, Lieutenant, the people of Anchorhead owe you an incredible debt. You've saved countless lives from a threat we never could have imagined. I managed to scrape together a small reward for you. It's the least we could do to thank you. No reward is necessary. That's generous of you, Lieutenant. I know the people affected by these bombings will really appreciate it. So, I guess this is where we part ways. It's been a real pleasure having you here, Lieutenant. An honor. We'll never forget what you've done for us. The Republic prides itself on protecting the innocent. Well, be sure the Republic knows how much we appreciate the help. Good luck, Lieutenant. You'll always be welcome in Anchorhead. Thank you for calling. From what I hear, you've been very busy. We have quite a bit to discuss. First, congratulations on stopping the bombings in Anchorhead. Mayor Claren was both impressed and grateful. Well done. Glad I could make a difference. You represented the Republic very well in this. Good job. I also understand that you not only located Fuse, but routed an entire Imperial research facility in the process. Lieutenant Tasser filed his report only moments ago, actually. I'm sorry he and his men couldn't arrive sooner. I can handle these missions on my own. That was Lieutenant Tasser's estimation as well. Still, I prefer to have backup available to you whenever possible. Tasser described the Imperial facility as a flaming graveyard, and I understand Fuse was among the deceased. I'll admit I'm a bit confused by that turn of events. According to Mayor Claren, Fuse cooperated and was instrumental in your operation. The Imperial base was rigged to detonate. Fuse insisted I leave him behind to stop Gorik. That was very noble of him. What about the bomb designs that Fuse created for the Imperials? Were you able to retrieve a copy? Fuse died to make sure we got these designs. Then we'd best make good use of them. I'll download them to Coruscant for review. I have nothing further for you, Lieutenant. Carry on with your mission and keep up the good work. Garza out. Sir, I need to speak to you immediately. I've received a strange hollow message that appears to bear Imperial signal codes. I haven't watched it yet. I wanted you present to supervise and confirm that I'm not engaged in secret communications with Imperial personnel. You better watch it immediately. Yes, sir. I'll load it now. Hey, Laura. It's me. Alexei. I... I hope you're well. It's been a long time. Alexei? Sir... This message is from my brother. I don't know what to say. I know this must be hard for you. It, it's more surprising than anything. I... I honestly never thought I'd see his face again. I'm sorry to contact you like this. But I need your help. My men and I... We're as good as dead. We're on Nar Shaddaa. We were caught tampering with one of the Hut's operations. We never dreamed the slugs would have so much security. These Hut's are Imperial allies, Alara. There is no rescue team. We'll be disavowed and left to die. Please. You're my only hope now. How do we know Alexei isn't leading us into a trap? We should proceed with caution. But I don't believe my brother is lying to us. I believe I can bring him to our side. I know my brother better than anyone. I can convince him to defect. Perhaps it's best if I see to this matter alone, sir. Alexei will be much easier to convince if he doesn't feel outnumbered. Going out on a limb here, Dorn. Don't let me down. 
I won't, sir. You can count on me. Coordinates are included at the end of the message. I'll prep my gear for search and rescue. The operation was a complete success, sir. Per code 23 of the Enemy Interaction Guidelines, Alexei officially defected to the Galactic Republic. Given the circumstances, we didn't have much time to catch up, but I have my brother back. Thank you for allowing me to help him. I'm happy to hear that everything worked out. Hopefully Personnel Division will allow me to stay in contact with Alexei. Not privately, of course, and help guide him through the defection process. I should start compiling notes for him. Thanks again, sir. Got a problem, sir. Weapons malfunction. I had a couple misfires during that prison run. I think the barrel might be out of whack. Not surprising, given all the action we've seen. With your permission, I'd like to inspect the rest of the squad's ordnance. Make sure everything's up to code. Looking for an excuse to go through my personal effects, are we? Maybe. There's something you don't want me to find? A woman's gotta have some secrets. You're certainly welcome to try. Cathar don't miss much. Snipers miss even less. Well, those weapons aren't going to inspect themselves, sir. Sir, if you have a moment, I've developed an initiative to improve morale amongst our fellow soldiers. As we both know, Havoc Squad is the finest military team ever assembled. Our triumphs prove to the public that victory is near. Unfortunately, as a team, even we can only accomplish so many victories in a given amount of time. Therefore, I would like to undertake additional assignments on my own time. What kind of additional assignments? I'd like to coordinate with Command and the SIS to find extra targets. Imperial personnel no one else could challenge and neutralize them. Some tough wins would really get our troops fired up. My calculations suggest the Republic's forces' morale would increase more than 18% for each impossible target I neutralize. Such incredible victories would demoralize the putrid citizens of the Empire as much as they would encourage our heroic comrades. That's a good plan, Forex. Make it happen. I'll inform you as soon as I locate a suitable target, sir. This is General Garza. I understand you've just sat down on Alderaan. The political situation on Alderaan is highly complicated. The world's ruling families are mired in a civil war for control of the planet. House Organa supports the Republic, so they're our primary ally. Your mission against the Havoc Traders is priority one, but try to aid the Organas where you can as well. Who will I be aiding House Organa against? The Empire supports House Organa's rival, House Thule. Thule was banished from Alderaan, but with the Empire's support, they've returned to make an attempt for control of the planet. Does this sort of thing happen a lot on Alderaan? Not at all. The succession of Alderaan's throne has been decided peacefully for centuries. Now, your primary mission. Your target is Gearbox. A captured Thule nobleman has revealed his presence to our House Organa allies. Apparently, Gearbox is aiding House Thule and the Empire in their effort to take control of Alderaan, though we don't yet know the full nature of that assistance. I'll ascertain Gearbox's objective immediately, General. If it's something of interest, certainly recover what records you can, but your main objective remains the man himself. You should speak to the Thule nobleman that House Organa captured, and see if you can get more information from him. The Thule prisoner is being held in isolation at House Organa's estate. I left strict instructions that no one interact with him further until you arrive. Are there any limitations on questioning the prisoner? I leave that to your discretion, Lieutenant. But this man is currently our only link to Gearbox. We wouldn't want to waste that. The overseer at Organa's detention center is a man named Balak Cormac, a captain in their house military. He will be your primary contact. That's it, Lieutenant. Question the prisoner, determine Gearbox's whereabouts, and neutralize him. Understood? I'll be done in no time. 
Good luck, Lieutenant. Garza out. I found our first potential target for the Morale Improvement Initiative. An Imperial propagandist known as the Ambassador. I've collected a sample of his lies for your review. Friends, the Ambassador would have you know that you needn't live in fear. You needn't bow to men who are your inferiors. In the Empire, you can live a life of purpose and accomplishment, where only those most fit to rule guide our society. A life of greatness. Surely no one's fallen for a tribe like this. If it were not effective, even the fools in the Empire wouldn't bother with it. These spurious recordings are broadcast all over the galaxy, filling people with doubts about our noble cause. The Ambassador is the public face of our enemy. Removing him will boost Republic troops' morale and combat effectiveness. As soon as you look at the Ambassador, let me know. You'll be the first person I notify, sir. You can really feel the history and tradition in a place like this. Hold up a minute, friend. The detention area is restricted. I'm going to need to see some identification before you come in here. Here you go. Thank you. Let's have a look then. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. We, uh... Well, your general told us someone was coming, but he didn't say who. You'll be wanting to talk to our esteemed guest from House Thule, won't you? He's a tough one. We worked him over a dozen times and he still won't talk. Thought he mentioned a man called Gearbox. Well, yeah, besides that, he mentioned the Gearbox fellow as soon as we brought him in. The man's name is Marcus Thule. He did tell us that much. Our boys caught old Marcus sneaking into the castle with a dozen Imperial commandos, set on cutting the head of House Organa into Throntabate. If you captured any Imperials, I'll need to speak with them as well. I'm afraid there aren't any, Lieutenant. They all went down during the fight. Took a lot of our boys with them, too. Anyways, as soon as we got the shock cuffs on him, Marcus starts in on the gearbox stuff. Critical intelligence, Republic Special Forces will want to know, that sort of thing. That's when we called your people. I should speak with the prisoner at once. Absolutely, sir. Sorry to have held you up so long. Marcus is in holding cell 5, Lieutenant. I've set the security door to grant you access, whenever you're ready. So, a visitor. Welcome. I am Marcus and Darius Thule. Your aspect and equipment are not those of House Organa. Whom do you represent? If you cooperate, I can make life much easier for you. Ah, uh, so my offer of information has finally reached the correct persons. I can tell you all about Gearbox, the Empire, and their activities. But before I help you, you must help me. I want protection for my wife and daughter. I'm not sure I understand. My wife and daughter, they still live amongst my house and amongst the Imperials. If I tell you what I know, they will suffer for that betrayal. I won't allow this. So until my family is safe, I can tell you nothing. Lead me to Gearbox and I'll do whatever you want. If I tell you where he is now, you could simply deal with him and leave, gaining me nothing. Perhaps a compromise. I tell you part of what I know to prove the veracity of my claims. If you find that my intelligence is accurate, you help my family. After which, I will tell you exactly how to locate Gearbox. Let's hear this intel of yours. Among other projects, Gearbox has helped construct a hidden, highly sophisticated missile battery capable of eradicating any Organa force that approaches Thule territory. Destroying this missile battery would greatly benefit your Organa allies and prove how accurate my information is. All you need do for the rest is protect my wife and daughter. We'll talk after I'm done checking your intel. If you're telling the truth, then I'll protect your family. Then you will have what you seek. Farewell. I gotta say, Lieutenant, you're something else. Until you showed up, Marcus had barely spouted 20 words at us. Don't know about this business with Marcus's wife and daughter, though. The boys upstairs may not approve of cutting deals with this guy. Your superior's opinions have no impact on my mission. Okay, sure. But these guys can make life very hard, believe me. Just figured I'd warn you now. So what about Marcus's story? All of this missile launcher business. You think he's telling the truth? It's hard to say, but there's no choice but to investigate. Suppose so, sir. 
Never thought I'd say this about a Thule, but I think I actually believe the guy. Well, good luck out there, friend. Who knows? Maybe you'll find some clues about this gearbox guy. I'll keep an eye on Marcus while you're gone. Forward battery. This is primary. I've got some fresh ballistic data for the MR3s you've got loaded down there. Well, if it isn't our old friend Gearbox. Nice that the old man's keeping busy, I guess. Are you looking forward to taking Gearbox down? That's a big affirmative. We've been doing some testing for Project B and worked out new results for your range racks. You want to nudge those MR3s a good 0.053 degrees positive lateral to get clean hits on Zone 3. Anyhow, Stay sharp out there, kids. Maybe once Project B is complete, we'll have you over for a little demonstration. Primary out. What do you think Project B is? He definitely sounds excited about it. Whatever Project B is, it can't be good. No kidding, sir. Ready to move whenever you are, sir. Captain Cormac, I really don't believe I can make myself much clearer than... Lieutenant, welcome back, sir. How did your mission go? You know, destroying that giant missile battery that threatened our house, sir? Is everything all right, Cormac? Oh, of course it is, Lieutenant. Especially knowing that you pulled off such a dangerous mission against Thule and the Imperials. <clears throat> yes. Allow me to extend the fondest gratitude of our noble House of Organa for your heroic assistance, Lieutenant. I am Palos Theseus Organa, first nephew to His Highness the Great Duke of Organa. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. It's good to meet you too, sir. Uh, yes. Well, indeed. I'm told that you have spent some time in the company of a prisoner detained herein. One Marcus Thule. This man is of no small consequence to our house, as you may well be aware. What is your interest in him? Unfortunately, I can't discuss the details of my mission. Surely you're joking. Lieutenant, I'm certain you would agree that my family has a right to know what transpires in our home. Marcus Thule is telling you secrets which I deeply suspect he would not do without promise of recompense. As I said, I can't discuss mission details with you. Your mistrust saddens me. Are we not allies? Can we not confide in one another? Well, I'm afraid that house business compels me elsewhere, so I must take my leave of you, Lieutenant. But let me make something clear. Marcus Thule attempted to murder the head of our house. He will not be pardoned for his crime. Sorry about that. I tried to calm him down, but to Palos, you're just a stranger buddying up with the guy who tried to kill his family. Palos has a right to seek justice for his family. Yeah, I'd want to put Marcus down too if he came after my family like he did the old Duke. I've been watching Marcus since you left. I don't think he's made a sound or moved a centimeter. Still, I'm sure he's been looking forward to your next visit. I'll be out here if you need anything. You've returned. I trust everything was as I described. I have now proven the accuracy of my knowledge, as well as my intentions. Before I share any more intelligence on Gearbox, you must rescue my wife and daughter. Nobody gets rescued until I know what Gearbox is up to with Project B. I have stated the price of further intelligence. Until you rescue my wife and daughter, we have nothing further to discuss.
I'll rescue your wife and daughter. Where can I find them? My wife and daughter can be found at our family manor. I'll provide you with the coordinates. They must not be recognized while traveling with you. You'll need to acquire disguises of some kind. I'll see if Captain Cormac has anything I can use. My family and I have a code word for situations such as this. Speaking it will prove that you're acting on my behalf. Tyroven, remember the word well. I'll not have you harming Altana or Valen to gain their cooperation when you could simply speak a word. Tyrovan. Got it. Good. If you fail to deliver Altana and Valen to me alive and well, I will never tell you anything. Never. Now go. We will only speak further when I see my wife and daughter safely before me. So I guess that's it then. Nothing for it but to rescue the wife and daughter, huh? At this point, there's no other choice, Captain. Well, probably worse things in the galaxy than rescuing noble ladies, even if they are thools. I've got you some cloaks here, sir. To disguise the ladies, I mean. It's going to be tough getting to those ladies. There's bound to be loads of guards, Imperial and Thule, in every direction. Thanks for the heads up, Captain. Anytime. Good luck, Lieutenant.